Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and today's episode we're going to take a little look at this Hater um, Harrier 48 um, lawnmower. It's quite an oldie. I picked this up as a part of a two mower job lot it came in last week. The Ryobi um, has since gone and sold however the Ryobi um, had a bit of a rod knock on it and uh, I had to change the engine over for the spare engine in the end. It now runs sweet and, and it's sold but uh, the engine had to come off it. Um, there's just too, too much um, risk in it um, going wrong for me. So it, it ran okay, but it just, it was smoking and uh, it just it wasn't it wasn't right at all. So I've had to be changed out. So I've got this little tiny um, Hater Harrier 48 on the bench. It's quite old, missing some parts. I've been waiting for these to come in, which are the arm assemblies. I have fitted the one, but I'm gonna show you how to fit the other one. Um, just just for, for demonstration purposes. I've not had this engine running as of yet. I've had it fire just off of um, a bit of carb spray, um, but that's all. But it does seem that the engine revs are, are going through the roof. So what I've done is I'm just going to spray some WD-40 on, on the linkages and give the throttle a bit, a bit of working because it is a bit sticky. So I'm hoping by the time the video comes up, um, it will have sorted itself out. They are renowned for, for sticking all it had. So it's on a, a WD-40 soak and we'll see how we get on. If this is the first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, click the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, and set notifications to all. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up on your way in or on your way out. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out this Hater Harrier 48. Right, and here's a little Hater Harrier 48. As I say, um, it's missing the, the end bits on the, on the arms. Um, it comes with a grass box, which is quite cool. Um, and came in as part of a two mower job lot. There's not a lot of mowers about in my area at the moment, um, due to stuff being closed down or what have you, but I'm hoping that will pick up quite soon. It looks like we are starting to release the old lockdown slightly, so, so that's good. I've got to clean all this um, top stuff up. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna spray this yet, but I might just put some of that Pledge Revive on it, get a wipe down with, with a soapy cloth, let it dry and Pledge Revive it. That's what possibly I'm doing. So as I say, the first thing is, is that this throttle linkage seems to be very, very stiff. And when I put some fuel in it, um, it was over revving. Uh, some carb cleaners, sorry. So none of this lot actually was working very well at all. It was soaked last night and uh, it now appears to be a, a bit better which is good so i'm just literally just, just running this wd-40 in best i can i'm going to put some other lubricant on there as well just to get it to run a bit better there's a little bit of a kink in this throttle cable too i might just try and straighten that out but we should see but now it is running better it wouldn't even do that so i'm guessing that's that's half half the problem I've had these before where they over rev. Um, and it's just because that throttle linkage will not, will not turn, especially on top of a, top of a carburetor on, on this one here. Um, it won't it won't rotate up because of the way, um, it's just got so much dirt behind this. So the throttle one is the main one, which is the one at the back here. And it is 100% looser than what it was before. So I'm hoping that will do the job. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the other side of the um, lawnmower where the arm is and I'm going to fit the other side of this coupling cup that uh, was missing. I bought a set of these, uh, they're second hand um, off of another hater and I think I paid £10 each for these. I needed a pair. Um, that was cheap compared to what they were going for for genuine and some people were uh, listing them as sort of a £25 a set as well. So I got them a bit cheaper. Um, I think it might have even been £16 for the set, it could have been. Um, I fitted one side, I'm happy with that, but I'm going to show you how to fit the other side. Very simple. Right, so I've got it nice and close. As you can see, all of this has all been smashed off, which is no good to us. So, I just want to try and take that off. Maybe about 14 mil, I think. 13, 14, what's that? That's a 14. This is all broken, this one. I'll put a 13 on there first got to come off and I think this is the only reason why um, why it's come to me 
this has been if this has been picked up from downward tip someone's actually thrown this, thrown this machine out it's not working i think the engine's good but it literally just threw it out because of um it's all broken inside i see the carson's actually broke on that didn't know that okay that's cool i've got all the spare bits for this which is good let's take that handle off and move it up out of the way if I can, or down below, wherever it might sit better. That's it, better better for viewing purposes. Now this nut here, that's gonna to have to come off. That doesn't belong on there. And you want, I think it's a 19 mil socket on that. What we've got here? Yeah, 19. And that's gotta come off. Now when you do that, you need to sort of make sure that you pull the bolt out slightly. So that um, the, the, the end of the bolt catches inside actually not running too bad let's give it another a wd-40 as well lost my straw not gonna losing your losing your straw mink amount of times i lose my wd-40 straw and try and find them they're like hen's teeth down here <coughs> oh i've got that so you can't be losing your W40 straw. I keep all my, all my old WD40 straws, but uh, over over time they do just come off and you lose them. So yeah, you need to make sure this bolt is pulled out before you start to undo it. Otherwise, it's just, it's just going to spin on you. <coughs> That's why it's coming quite well, which is good. And these are quite a heavy old mower because they're aluminium, so they are quite a lumpy old mower. And if the handle's not working right, you can't tip the lawnmower up. I don't know the age on this one, because I uh, can't really see it. I might be able to identify it a bit later on. It's just about legible, but uh, I can't really see that well. <clears throat> I'll try and find out for you later on. 1999 is what I want to say. <clears throat> That's what I want to say. Right, so got this... Um, coupling set here which is what it all comes as part of and i think the boat's put together pretty much in the right order he has that's what come out of there as well see what i mean about the end the, the same piece it's got a funny captive square on the back and if you don't pull it towards you it's just going to whole spin so you have to pull it into the captive bit to undo that and they are quite well on there If you just look up on eBay, um, Hater 48, Hater Harrier 48 handlebars, um, then it will come up within the search somewhere in there. Right, so I have most of the bits already on here, and this is a bit I need. Um, there's two stars, there's, there's, a, there's a small hole and a big hole. And it's a big hole one we want to go on because it's got these two little tiny grooves and they sit on these two tabs just here and here. And they sit around there and you can adjust the, the height of the handlebar somewhat pull the bolt out that bolt is captive it won't go out and then you've got this um this nut which goes on there that goes on next and that goes all the way up It's a bit fiddly because the bolts don't want to run as well as you would like. And if you don't pull the bolt out at the same time, it's just going to spin on you. So it takes a bit of time. Let me get this locked down and I'll come back to you. Okay, with that now in place, that, that, that now won't come off. I'll leave it slightly loose. And then you put your, your handlebar in place. Like so. That one sits up tight to that nut. That one goes onto there. And pretty much all you want is just this piece here. That goes on. Does it nice and tight. That squeezes it all together. Not too tight because they do snap. I have got one here to show you, which is what off, off the other side. They do snap, and when they snap, you've had it. So you don't go mad. It's got to be on. And with that on, 
we can now tip this lawnmower backwards. Which is something I haven't been able to do for about a week. So now we can tip it all backwards, okay? Which is cool. So that's now exactly as it should be. And I think that's the main reason why this lawnmower uh, ends up coming to me. So uh, that part of it um, is now fixed. And at least if the engine does run properly, um, we can wear a service lawnmower on. Now, I've been looking around and they make good money. They make good money, these little mowers. Um, for what they are, they're not my they're not my cup of tea, the older style ones. Um, I like the engine, but the, it's just the, the, the cutting of them. I hate to have moved on considerably <clears throat> since since some days. So we're going to look at the filter next. I'll grab my screwdriver out of the way before I lose that. Yeah. Say again, buddy. Here comes my little Riley boy. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. Are you going to come in and say hello? Yeah, no, just a video. Here he is. Hi, Riley boy. Say hi, guys. Hi. What are you up to? A turtle. What are you eating? Oh, lovely. That looks yummy. What have you been eating? Ham sandwich. A ham sandwich? Who made it for you? Raya. Nana made you a ham sandwich. She didn't come down and make Daddy a ham sandwich. Uh, yeah. What are you up to, buddy? Guys. You love, oh, you love YouTube friends, do you? I cut the camera. You don't want to cut off, you can't cut off a camera because we're recording, so you can't do that. Mwah. Yeah, mwah. you have yeah. a nice ham sandwich? Oh, ham sandwich for you. You got a ham sandwich for me? Yeah. I don't know how but we, we, we live in hope. Ham sandwich? Uh, do you take this plate back? That's yours. Yeah, take that plate back. Okay. Yeah. Do you want a ham sandwich? Well, no, no I've, I haven't long woken up from a night shift, so I'm, I'm all right for a minute, I suppose. Daddy. Yeah, all right. Love you, boy. You. Take it easy. Peace out. Peace out. Yeah, exactly. Peace out, guys. <laughs> he is funny. Right, so there's the air filter. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. That looks good. It's got a pre-filter in there, too. Yummy, yummy. Air filter's yummy. Look, it's dirty, look. Mm. So we'll take the air filter out, and I'm also going to take... Yeah, tell our boy. We're also going to take the pre-filter out as well, and we're going to blow that out. We'll give it a nice, good clean. It's only a gauze, a bit of a... Bit of sponge. Um, you can buy them as well um, with the pre-filters. I'll just blow them ones out. It's done its job though, which is good. So I'll blow that out. We put a new air filter in, uh, which is good, good, good. Um, it's just set to choke at the moment down here. It's set to choke on the arm. Just want to double check it. It's actually choking um, on the lever full stop. Let me just swing you around. Bring you around tub away. How's that suit you? Is that a bit better? There you go. Try that. So off a choke, that's still on choke. Idle, yeah, flat out, half choke, full choke, yeah, that's doing its job. I ain't doing too bad, we've got to get it running first anyway. How much fuel we got in there? I don't even know no fuel in there, I think. No, fuel tank is empty. Fuel tank is empty. <clears throat> So um, that's that done. Spark plug next. So have had it, have it fired. So I do know it, to, to a degree it does actually run this machine. So oh, that's not me. Uh, that's not the spark plug doodad, is it? I've got some bits come in, which I'll talk to you about a bit later on. I'll talk to you as I go. Actually, I've got the Suffolk punch fuel tap and line in. I've got the. Uh, Ransom Marquis um, corks. I've got some spare corks for the uh, oh, spare corks for the brass tap for that because that's leaking. Spark plug is absolutely knackapoodied. That's no good. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, I've got some spare spark plugs here actually, which my old mates at um, Pro Parts Direct give me. So I might put one of them in. Let me find the old spark plugs. Where are they at? And a box of them. Somewhere. Up. Yeah, these are plugs from me uh, mates over at Pro Parts. They sent me over some champion ones, so we use them up. And these are the um, J19LMs, which are the same as the B2LMs. Um, out of the two, two top plug people I, I use is Champion and or um, NGK. So that'll go in. 
That fits in there beautiful. I'll take you all out of this machine, give it an oil change, and then once done an oil change, we'll um, sharpen the old blade up, give that a sharpen, and go from there, I suppose. I'm waiting on a couple of phone calls um, for spares for the ransom, if I can locate them. But I'm struggling with spares at the moment for that, as we all do. So, uh, spark plugs um, out and in. Go either spin the machine round and do the oil. <clears throat> I might leave it where it is. Just check the oil now, see what it's doing. Black as you're at. Black as you're at, and it's about three quarters way up on the older on the reader. Yeah, about three quarters way up. I'm gonna do it good and all change anyway. So let me I need to empty out my um my oil container, it's nearly full. I need to empty out into some into some spare containers so I can drain it out fully. Now you are supposed to run the machines up, I recommend, to make sure the oil is uh, a bit more uh versatile to be drained, but it, it won't be too bad. Um all change and come back. Right, machine's tipped up, all the oil is out of this machine at the moment. I've just gone around with some uh, spray grease and just sprayed various points inside, uh, back pulley and what have you, that uh, don't normally get anything. So a bit of spray grease on there, just working away, just uh, loosen stuff up. Take the blade off. Blade's actually in good condition, actually. Uh, it wants a, a bit of a, a new edge put just here, but I should, run it, I should put a complete new edge on. Um, that side's the same. It's been cutting really well here. Um, no use here at all. So this bit wants redoing, same as the other side, so that's cool. I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean off and um, sharpen it up, and then I might even uh, spray this this blade up um, because that way you can say that the blade's been uh, reconditioned and what have you. And when they tip it up, they can see I've got some nice heat proof stuff. I might use that um, just to uh, give it that uh, that new look. Because I say these do fetch quite a good bit of money, so uh, for what they are for the age of them. I thought I had a bit of a leak coming from the bottom oil seal, but I don't. Uh, that's just dirt and grime, so that's good. Um, so sharpen the old blade up, um, give it a quick spruce up, and then we'll uh, tip the machine back down and we'll carry on the rest of this service. Right, I've given it a bit of a spray as well. Um, a bit of a clean off, just a bit of a spray up, and the blade is now done. Just sprayed that up as well, just a touch, and. Um, it's still a little bit wet. Um, getting an edge on the front and also just doled off on the back on each side. That's what I do on mine. So we're just a bit careful because it's just a little bit wet, but it's only ever going to be sat up here anyway. So I'll put that back on. There's a bit of grass under the old friction plate in between the blade and the plate as well. So I wanted just to clean all that up. So that can go on when it catches. I shall hold the blade still so it don't rub the paint off. But it will eventually because it is a friction plate, it's what it's designed to do. So let me just uh, zap that on. That's cool. I reckon that's going to take quite a bit of getting off. That is. That's been on there a little while, that has. So let me get that, let me get that off and be a no easy task, but uh, the blades will now sharp and balance and sprayed up as well, so good, good, good. Right, with that all done, we can now tip the lawnmower back down onto its wheels and roller. Push it over a smidge. And um, fill it up with oil. I'm gonna get a new air filter in. So let's do that now. Uh, new air filter. Air filters, air filters. I've got stacks of them. I've got a load coming that I bought anyway. And then I've got a load off from my older, my old mates over at Pro Park. So we'll bang one of them in. I've blown the pre-filter out already. That's all done. And good to go. So a brand new air filter goes in. Mine the holds up. Push that in there. I want a flat driver. I'm going to put the oil in now 
and then what I do is um, I get a bit of a clean, put some fruit, put some fuel in, and then we're taking it outside and we we'll give it a run to see how it performs. So I have had it just running just on carb spray, so I know the engine to be good, but as of yet, it hasn't had a decent run. So yeah, good clean up. Um, all the covers back on, the pull cord is good, doesn't need doing. Um, and then we'll take it outside, give it a run and see how we get on. This, uh, this lawn mower is actually quite cheap uh, for what it is, for what it's gonna sell for hopefully. So hopefully the money return will be quite good. See you in a bit. Right, Riley boy, that's all done. Let's get it out. Yeah. Outside. Daddy. Yeah. Hi guys. Hi guys. Let's put that just there. I'll go and get, get the old mower. Whoa. Right, there it is. Let's get you down a bit. That's better. All done, all serviced. High five. All good to go. High five, Riley boy. Um looks okay. The grass box could do with a little bit of cleaning, but I'll probably just jet wash that off. Uh, but all in all, uh, quite happy with its appearance. Let's just see what it runs like and test for drive. So it has got a little bit of a hunt to it. Um, I'll get a bit of a run. It's not been run for a little while, and if need be, I'll take the carburetor off, give the old carburetor a bit of a clean. But uh, it's not running too bad. Just want to take the cover off when I do uh, run it to see if it is actually the governor is moving a touch. It could do just the idle, it'll pick up just a touch. Uh, sometimes it does cure these, but also it being side drive does also have an effect when um, the belt is being um, engaged. That generally stops the hunting as well. So I'll give it a bit of a run. I'm relatively happy with it. Um, but if not, I'll take a car break off and uh, clean the car quickly. Uh, but uh, all in all, yeah, it runs. And uh, for what I paid for it, it should sell pretty well. Right, car break are clean. But hopefully it'll run a bit better than what it was. Um, I'm hoping so. Let me, just, let me just bring it down a touch. Let's have a look now, see what it runs like. I haven't started it. Hi, buddy. too bad. I might just try and open the fuel up just a touch more and just see if that'll help it. Right, I'll give a bit of a tune if I can. Cheers. Just to try and improve it.
It is 20, it is, uh, 20 years old, but um, it's not running too bad. Um, I have had it running better than that, but uh, I think it'll run all day like that. So I'm gonna put it on its test, fill the tank up, run it and see how we get on. Okay, so that's that Hater Harrier uh, 48 now all done. It's still got a bit of a hunt to it, I must admit. I might have to bring it back into a bit more of a fine tune and maybe put the carburetor through the old Sonic cleaner. Um, I think it'll be okay. It's running, it's not, it's not gonna do anything it shouldn't do, but uh, it's just got that little tiny tweak. I might be able to adjust the throttle or tension the spring slightly just to get stop from hunting. It does it for a bit, then stops doing it for a bit, and does it for a bit. And also, when you're engaging with drive and go up and down the lawn, it doesn't do it at all. And as I say, it is a side shaft driven mower, and the belt does have some some tolerances of of how it will run. So um, I let it do its run, let it do its test, make sure it's not going to do anything it shouldn't do, and then might just uh, have a little fine tune with it running just to try and tweak it up a little tiny bit more. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mixed Mowers. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and whack the old bell for set notifications to all. Any comments you've got, leave them down below in our comment section. I'll try and answer all the comments that I can. Thank you very much for joining me this episode of Mixed Mowers. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode very, very soon. But to people, don't forget, more importantly, take care easy.